Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me, Kim Grinnings. I hope that you're all well. We've only got two months left of 2024 and the full movie season is in full swing, balancing it out with some festive movies, horror movies and also some Oscar contenders as well to finish off the year of 2024. So without further ado, this is one of the most anticipated movies, not only of the fall but also of the year, the sequel to the 2019 movie. Joker I present in the best potential way I can speak French Joker fully a do here we go Joker Fully Adu is a 2024 sequel directed by Todd Phillips and sees Joaquin Phoenix reprise his Oscar winning role as Arthur Fleck, also known as Joker, from that previous movie. Another actress as well that's reprising her role is Zazie Beetz, who is Domino from Deadpool 2. She's also reprising her role, very surprisingly. Uh, but the most notable new addition to this movie is Lady Gaga, who is playing Dr. Harleen Quinzel, better known in the super villain world as Harley Quinn. Also one of these big changes to that 2019 original is that this is a musical film. We're going to get into that in just a moment but first of all I was a big fan of that 2019 Joker film. I spoke about it on the channel a couple of days ago. It's easily going to be in my top 15 favourite films of all time. It's most definitely up there in terms of DC's best and for me personally, I think what that Joker movie does is completely change this general idea of, you know, films in the cinematic universe and lining them all up. You know, they had very different stakes, they had very different perspectives and roles. And to see a superhero movie win big at the Oscars with Joaquin Phoenix winning Best Actor just shows the quality of the movie. But as soon as this movie was announced as a musical, I got a little bit worried about what they could have done with this. First of all, I was intrigued because you know I respect filmmakers and their potential to, to do something different and creative. If it doesn't work, then that's when you start to get to a problem. But as soon as you've not even seen anything yet, you know, you've got to be understandable that they're just gonna try and do something different and it could play off massively. However, I think it is such a disappointing movie. And and it was it was hard to watch in certain times because I really do like that first one. We'll still like watching it as an individual film, but just to know now what it has developed into with this movie, I'm ultimately disappointed. I was disappointed throughout the whole movie. I was really, really questioning what I was watching. And um, I think the unique aspect of this movie was absolutely it being a musical. However, that's ultimately its downfall. Um, and a massive amount of the time is, I like certain musicals, I wanna say I'm a massive musical fan, I like certain musicals. And I do think that you had two very able individuals in Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix that can sing. So it's not like you're forcing this idea. And then with actors that can't sing, you know, Lady Gaga of course can sing with her incredible amount of awards and Joaquin Phoenix can, singer shown in War the Line, which was a great movie. Um, so, you know, you can see 100% that the musical aspects could work because they're singing, but I just think it slows down the pacing of the story and almost rewarding these big plot moments with a song, which I, I just felt really interrupted the, the general flow of the movie. A lot of people will say that that 2019 original is very slow. This movie somehow is even slower and I think the songs definitely don't help that. You know, it's almost like anything that happens, which I won't get into spoilers here, ultimately needs a song to back it up and make it this, you know, hammer home the point. Well, we've got the point, let's move on, let's see. I think it slows slows the movie down, it increases the runtime to the point where you're thinking, whoa, you know, this movie is getting a little bit too long now, but it never had any of the intrigue with the songs. The set pieces were, were, were fine, I mean, there were some really nice set pieces, very creative as well, kind of the Joker and Harley, you, you know, joint, you know, show as co-hosts and then the big sort of, you know, numbers within like big bands and all people dancing. That works, you know, that that's fine. They definitely did invest 
these to be the big spectacle moments but for me it never ever seemed to work um in terms of the story and obviously where it goes it tries so many different story points but none of them worked so convincingly i felt like they were a little bit wishy-washy with what they were trying to focus on they were trying to pull so many different things in you know i won't get into specific spoilers in this review um if you want to talk about it this then feel free to message me on my instagram and we can go through it in, in full force but for me it not really hammered home on one thing it was almost trying to pull loads of different things in the air to kind of keep you going and keep you interested but ultimately you're just like hang on a minute this needs to just slow down it needs to have a strong concrete follow-through story and it never did that particularly with harley's story or as she's called in this movie lee i think that's absolutely ridiculous you know arthur fleck i understand is the joker's name you have to give him a name but lady gaga's character is a character that we all know she's been played in you know movies before and in different forms of media just call her harley why lee i don't get that at all but the whole story of harley quinn and their, her backstory is completely contradicted in this movie almost feeling like her role was very insignificant in a lot of ways um but i'm not going to go massively negative on this movie i feel like i have a lot of the time there were some solid performances. Wacky Phoenix was, again, really good. Not as good as, you know, the first movie when he won the Oscar. Do I think he could get nominated? I think there's a very strong chance. But no way is he ever in a front runner in my mind for me at the moment. And, you know, there were some nice defining character shots within this film. I definitely think they used the colour palette to the best of their ability. I think it evaluated certain aspects of Gotham. It didn't do the whole city, but it was certain little aspects which I thought the colour palette worked uh, as much as it possibly could. Didn't, didn't change it up dramatically from that first film. Very, still very dark and gritty, which was good because, again, you know, they made a lot of changes. If they made that change, that would have been a real negative for me but ultimately you know it had some stronger aspects it's not the worst film i've seen this year by any long means but for me there were so many problems and it has to be the most disappointing movie i have seen this year and it probably will be towards the end of 2024 when we do the end of year rankings and lists so for me, joker fully a do did not do it for me so it will be getting a five out of ten so that is it for the review of Joker Fully A Do. Let me know what you think about the movie if you've seen it, but please do keep that spoiler uh, free in the comment section. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated to people who haven't watched it yet. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for all the incredible support we've been having over on the channel recently. Hope you've been enjoying the new content as well, including TV episode reviews, which will be making a return next week as well. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Kieran Gooden. I hope to make the conversation about film and TV sound just a little bit more interesting. See you in a bit.